Hey ladies, my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about creating a capsule wardrobe. I was originally going to do an essentials video, but I did one at the beginning of the season. So I'll go ahead and link that for you if you want to check it out. And this is not about essentials. This is about having a capsule wardrobe where you can mix and match things. And there might be some of your essentials in this type of wardrobe, but we all have wardrobes that don't just consist of essentials. You may have just an essential capsule wardrobe, and if you do, that's great, but that is not what this is about. So I wanna share with you what I think about capsule wardrobes, and I'll show you my own capsule wardrobe if you are just interested in seeing what kind of pieces you could have. So first, I wanna say there are some misconceptions, I think, with capsule wardrobes. I do not approach them in the same way that a lot of other people do. I'm not a big minimalist person. <laughs> I like fun things, so sometimes I probably buy more than I should. And I don't think that we should only have one capsule wardrobe. I actually think people have multiples. And what I think a capsule wardrobe is, or what it is in my mind, is just a wardrobe that has pieces that you can mix and match. So you'll have 10 to 15, could be less, could be more, pieces that you constantly wear, that you absolutely love, and you can create multiple outfits out of these pieces. And most of us have this in our closet. So, and a lot of us have multiple capsule wardrobes. And the reason why I say that is because you could have a work capsule wardrobe because a lot of, if you have a professional job that you have to wear a suit, you're not going to have that as your daily wardrobe. It's gonna be separate. So you might have that. You might have a leisure capsule wardrobe. So you might have a bunch of leisure things. And I do have some more leisure things like joggers and leggings mixed in with my daily capsule wardrobe because that fits my lifestyle. So the capsule wardrobe is also going to fit your lifestyle. People will tell you all the time you need to buy all these specific pieces to create this, but it's not specific pieces. They should be general ideas for you to take and create your own personal styled capsule wardrobe. And so I'll show you mine and you can get some ideas of what maybe you could add to your wardrobe to make it a little bit more versatile. So that's another thing I haven't mentioned. I think a capsule wardrobe has a lot of versatility. So the pieces in there, like I said, can be mixed and matched. So when you're going to buy pieces, think about some of the pieces you already have and whether or not you would mix and match and layer and all of that. So now that all my thoughts on that are out of the way and you know how I feel about a capsule wardrobe, I wanna show you what my capsule wardrobe is. And it's probably gonna be a lot different from what you're thinking, but the first thing that I wanna talk about in my capsule wardrobe are graphic tees. A lot of people will tell you to get solid color tees and if you like solid color tees, great. I have some essential solid color tees and camisoles that I have in case I need them, but I don't wear them a lot, so I don't consider them as part of my capsule wardrobe. So I will show you my two graphic tees. These I wear on a consistent basis. This is a gray one, and of course, this is a pink one, and these are my favorite. I put them under my blazers, I put them under denim jackets, I pair them with leggings and jeans, and of course, all of these are part of my capsule wardrobe. So the next item you will see is this sweater vest, which I've talked about sweater vests. This is a very trendy piece. I think you can have trends in your capsule wardrobe. So pieces in your capsule wardrobe don't have to stay for a few years. You can add some pieces for that year and it just be your capsule wardrobe for that fall and winter. If you decide to keep it for the next season of fall and winter, then that's totally fine because I don't know how long the sweater vest thing is going to be alive, but I've had a lot of fun with these this year and I have layered them a lot with things that I have. The next thing is going to be a white button down shirt, which this has never been part of my capsule wardrobe because I've never really cared about them. I do think it's a great essential piece for you to have, but if you have it, you may not wear it a lot, but I have totally worn this so much that it has become part of my capsule wardrobe. So the next pieces I wanna show you are these three pieces. I'll go ahead and pull them out. One is a sweatshirt. 
and this is one of my favorite sweatshirts I added this year. This is definitely part of my capsule wardrobe because I've been wearing it a lot. And I, I can layer something underneath it if I have a turtleneck or something. I don't really layer anything above it because, or over it, because I don't want to hide the star. And then the second thing is this green cow neck turtleneck style shirt and i've had this in my capsule wardrobe for a few years and i wear this with i kid you not jeans leggings it's long enough to wear with leggings joggers and this has just been a great piece and you can layer things over it and it looks really good and the last piece in the tops i'm going to show you is this sweater which i'll have seen in other videos and i do have it hanging on a hanger because i don't want it to pull but it's got a big bow on the front let me hang these up and I will show you. I probably won't hang it back up after this, but so this is something that I have worn, I kid you not, over and over and over again. And I also put this with black jeans, regular jeans, leggings. Uh, I mean, you name it, I have styled it with it. And you could also put a blazer over it because I still think that bow, part of that bow is going to show and it will be really cute. So the next set of items I'm going to show you are my jackets. I think layering pieces are great to have in a fall and winter capsule wardrobe. Whether you choose a denim jacket, a moto jacket, a blazer, it is totally up to you what kind of jacket you want to wear because it's going to depend on your climate as well. We don't get super cold here and I like layering with some of these jackets so I'll show you those but this is where a lot of you would find a layering piece called a cardigan and a lot of women love cardigans. All of my friends love cardigans and I am just not a big cardigan girl. So a cardigan might be in my closet, it might not, and it's not something that I gravitate towards and I wear. So if you love cardigans, that would be a great thing to put in your capsule wardrobe because you may not like blazers or jackets. So layering pieces are a really good thing to have. And I'll show you the layering pieces that I have. Of course, you're gonna be able to guess these, but the first one is of course a moto jacket. This is an edgy piece too that I think is great for any age. And you can throw this over dresses, you can throw this over with jeans, with joggers and leggings. Like I think this is such a versatile piece and this has been in my capsule wardrobe for three or four years now. This is one of the best blazers I've ever gotten. It's got a cute little patch on the elbow, but this blazer is actually from Loft. It is a knit blazer. It's really soft, really comfortable, and you can wear it with a lot of things. It's not really long. It comes just to my hips, and which is a perfect length with a lot of things that I have, and I really love this. So this is what I can wear if I I'm going to church or if I'm going out to dinner and I want to look a little bit more put together or I can just throw it on black jeans, my graphic tee and I'm good to go and some sneakers. So really versatile piece as well. And then this year I added this plaid blazer because this is something that is really in style this season and it's oversized. I have loved it and I wear it with a lot of things. I wear it over my graphic tees, over the white button down shirt. So the white button down shirt makes it look a little nicer. So I might dress it up with you know, my sock booties and some skinny jeans and it looks really good. And then I really think a very great essential piece to have in your wardrobe, it may not look like this. So this is a little bit trendier, but having even just a classic style denim jacket is perfect to have. And if you wear it all the time, it can be part of a capsule wardrobe that you have this one with the hoodie lined in it. I have loved this season and I find myself gravitating towards it and I throw it on a lot. So I've made this part of my capsule wardrobe. In previous years, I had denim jackets, but they were very different than this. But since I am so leisurely and casual, this works perfect for me. So now let's talk about the bottoms that I have in my capsule wardrobe. And you'll notice that I don't have as many of these as I did tops because I kind of have a tendency to wear the same ones over and over again. So I have four that are my main pieces. One is a black pair of leggings, which I have on. And then another pair is a pair of black joggers. 
These have become very popular the past few years and I just really love wearing them. There are times where I just don't feel like wearing something stuck to my legs and I wanna have something a little bit looser on and that's when I gravitate towards these and they look good with t-shirts and sweatshirts and you know, a casual sweater and a lot, you know, my jackets. I wear my moto jacket and my denim jacket with these. Next is a pair of black jeans and I think this is a great essential to have if you like black jeans and just find a style that you really love. I used to wear skinny black jeans and this year my favorite has been this slim flare that I got a couple of years ago from H&M. I was able to get it in the right length so I can wear it with sneakers and my booties without having to hem it which was awesome and it's really slim. It looks more like a boot cut but it's been a little bit more comfortable to me than my skinnies. And so that's what I have been wearing in the black jeans. And then the last pair are a pair of skinny jeans. And these are just a dark wash jean from J. Crew. These are my favorite skinny jeans. They're really stretchy. I could sleep in them. I mean, they're so comfortable to me. So I have been gravitating towards these as well. And I wear these mix and matching with almost everything in my capsule wardrobe. So I did not mention before, and I'll mention it now, is this sweatshirt is part of my capsule wardrobe because it's something that I gravitate towards all the time. And this is a great example, just like the vest was and the bow sweater and the oversized blazer. So these are kind of trendier pieces that you can add in if that is something that you like. And I love leopard print. I know people say it's out of style and I don't really care. I love it, so this is why this is part of my capsule wardrobe. And this was an airy sweatshirt that was from a couple years ago. And I actually have several colors in this, but this one is one of my favorites. So uh, sorry, I forgot to mention that when I was going over the tops. But now I wanna talk about shoes. And I only have two pairs of shoes. And the reason why is because these are what I wear. I interchange them every single day for my daily capsule wardrobe. And that's pretty much what this is. So the first one is my Golden Goose sneakers. And I've had these for three or four years. My husband bought them for me for Christmas, which was so sweet. And y'all, if there was one piece in my wardrobe that I could not live without, it would be those. And the other thing I have are these booties that I got this year. They're kind of a chunkier style booty and have the grommets on them and I just loved them. They're really comfortable. They have a low heel and they go with everything in this capsule wardrobe. So, so I just wanna mention accessories really quick because I think accessories are a very important part of our wardrobe. Whether it's one pair of earrings or a necklace or a scarf or a belt, whatever it is that matches your personality, you can definitely consider those as part of your capsule. And if you don't have something, then try and find something that you just love and are willing to wear with everything you have. And my piece of my one accessory this year are, is uh, a pair of earrings. And it's these huggy earrings from Kendra Scott. Since I got them, I have not been able to take them off. I don't have them on during this video because I'm moving around a lot and they hit my mic, but I love earrings and so that is my choice and I put them on with just about everything I have on that rack. And it, it can be whatever you want it to be, whatever it is that you can mix and match with all this stuff and makes you feel good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I know I might have a different way of thinking about capsule wardrobes than most people, but a capsule wardrobe is just a group of pieces that work together, that fit in your lifestyle and that you are going to wear a lot and it can change each season. You're going to have a different wardrobe in the spring and summer than you are the fall and winter and it changes year after year. So don't be afraid to update. Don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid to add trends to it. So that is my thought process and let me know what you think about capsule wardrobes in the comments below. And I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas and New Year's and thank you so much for your support and watching my channel. If you are not part of my channel and have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button if you have time and then the little bell just to get notifications so you know when I post videos. I try to post about two or three a week. And then if you love this video and definitely if you made it to the end, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me grow. So thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.